you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Annie. So today we're going to do an unboxing of my GHD products. I have never bought any products from GHD, but I bought the Gold Professional Performance 1 Inch Styler and Air Professional Performance Hair Dryer. I have not had a good hair dryer my whole entire life, and that's probably why my hair could be a little bit healthier. And I've never curled my hair with a straightener, but everyone says it's so much better and your curls last. So I decided to jump on the bandwagon, bite the bullet. It was $349 for both. Yes, I had to take a big deep breath in and swallow because it was a lot, but I had to also think that I've never had a nice blow dryer. So I went all in and I'm like, let's do this. I know these products are so good. So like I mentioned before, I have the crappiest hair dryer ever. So that's why I bought this because I know that it has ion technology that's really supposed to be good for heat protectant when it comes to blow drying, blow drying and straightening your hair. The straightening iron is supposed to not only smooth, but also control heat from your root to the tip and make it like a more sleeker and long lasting curl, which I'm really excited about. And then the air dryer, why I'm so excited for it is because it doesn't put as much heat out, but the motor is so powerful. When the air comes out, you can like feel the pressure. And I'm all about like the boom when it comes to a blow dryer and not some like weak air, you know, where it doesn't come out that much. Um, let's see here. And also, it's supposed to make your hair softer and dry super quick. And that's one thing I spend so much time on is blow drying my hair. It takes like 15 minutes to 20 minutes round brushing it. But not only that, just getting it dry. So I'm super excited to have a performance hair dryer that like gets your hair dry super quick. We shall see. Again, we're testing out all these products for the first time. But it does come in this beautiful box. I'll show you. I've already taken the products out. It comes in this really nice box. It came within a week, which is really nice too. And then this is the blow dryer. It's pretty hefty. It comes in two different settings, but we'll go over that when I get in my bathroom. And then here is the straightener. So very lightweight this is, which is really nice. I'm just super excited. So let's get right into it and test all this stuff out. Again, I bought all my stuff on ghd.com's website. So Let's do this. They have way more pricier products on there, but I went for this one. This is like a tried and true oldie but a goodie, I guess. So let's do this, shall we? Mm, fingers crossed. Okay, so in my bathroom now, welcome. I'm just gonna go over, I washed my hair with Kerastase products, I love them. And the first thing I do when I get out of the shower is use this leave-in conditioner by Kristen S. I got this at Target and I love it because it doesn't make my hair like greasy or anything. And then I put a heat protectant in. This is the Blonde Absolute by Kerastase. I never used to use a heat protectant and then my hair lady was like, uh, what the hell are you doing? So now I use this, couple pumps of it and it works great. Now when it comes to keeping my hair nice and shiny and it's so dry here in Denver, I feel like every single video I do, that's all I say, but it really is. And I've been using this since I was in college. It's the Moroccan oil treatment and this is the light one. Honestly, it is amazing. You just use about a dime size, rub it around in your hands. I start at the bottom of my hair and then the excess at the very end, I'll put in the top part. Whenever I blow dry my hair and get it nice and curled, I will also just use like a very, very light amount to make sure all the frizz is out and it makes it like super smooth and silky and just shiny looking. I love it. Next, this is when I'm going to work the next day. Otherwise, I try not to do it because it kind of dries my hair out a little bit. Is volumizing, say that five times fast, mousse for all hair types. And this is by Kristen S. I love it because it gives you body. Like I am obsessed with this stuff. A quarter size goes a long way and I never put it on top. I will section my hair off and then just put it like in the crown of my hair and it'll just give that extra oomph. Okay, first things first, let's get into blow drying my hair. Not gonna lie, this blow dryer is pretty freaking heavy. Like the heaviest blow dryer I've ever used. So that might be a little downside, but I know that it's gonna be so much better than my old hair dryer that was not like ionic, whatever it's called, technology. So it comes with this adapter. Of course you wanna use that adapter unless heat gets to your hair, it's further away. Let's see here. So there are two settings, one light and one heavy air, and then 
one light heat and two heavy heat. Anyone who knows me, I go heavy handed. Whenever I start with my hair wet, I always use a wet brush, brush all the way through it, make sure it's nice and combed out. And then during my blow dry, I will use this round brush that I got at Ulta. Everyone who uses it says it's like the best brush when they borrow it. It's by Wigo, W-I-G-O, Europe. I don't know if you can see this, but it's a good decent size brush and I love it. So let's just get right into this, shall we? about five minutes and my hair is almost dry so that's pretty amazing I'm gonna continue on using this wet brush just because it still is just a slightly damp and it doesn't pull my hair out as much so now I'm gonna round brush it I just round brush the top part of it just to get that extra body otherwise why'd I use mousse you can already tell it is staying nice and high and poofy obviously we're not gonna keep it like this but that just shows that this volumizing mousse by Kristen S does its job My hair is fully dried. I'm gonna use this brush by Mason Pearson from London. I got this at Nordstrom. Now the big brush is like $300. So I actually bought the travel size, still expensive, $90. But it is amazing because it does not pull my hair out. It actually makes it nice and smooth. And I used a gift card with it, so I don't feel as guilty. Run my fingers through just to make sure everything is nice and dry. We're gonna try out the straightener. So this is the GHD straightener that you can curl your hair with and straighten. I hate my hair straightened. So let's try the curling. Again, this might take me a while because I'm just now starting to learn how to straighten my hair slash curl my hair with a straightener. You know what I'm saying? So let's do this. Big plug, so you can't plug these in at one time, at the same time. So that's kind of a downside, but I have multiple plugs in my bathroom, so that's okay. So it beeps right when you turn it on to let you know that you plugged it in, but it doesn't turn on. You actually have to press the little center button inside, hold it down, and then it starts to get hot. It'll beep again in about 30 seconds, and it's already heated up. It's crazy. Okay, so here's the trick after watching like hundreds of YouTube videos because I can curl my hair in my sleep with a curling wand, but with a straightener, it takes me a little bit. So the key, obviously you're gonna still want it to, sorry, my cord is stuck. Obviously you're still gonna want to bend it backwards so that all your curls go back, but instead of just bending it halfway, you're actually gonna do the, the straightener 360 degrees and then start to slide it out. So put this in, turn it 360 degrees, clamping it down, grabbing the hair at the other side and pulling it through. I'm gonna stop about a quarter of the way and drop it. There we go. Twist it and there is the curl. Look how good that is. Okay, so now we're gonna do the front half, which I'm not gonna lie off camera, I've already butchered, but we're gonna try this again. 360 degrees, pull this out, halfway down. And I pull and straighten the ends. And again, you can brush this out at the end. So I'm gonna grab this. Here's this piece. I've noticed your curl's actually better if you only grab about half an inch to an inch thickness of your hair, so. Okay, so flatten it. Twist it 360 degrees, hold the ends and pull slowly till you get about a quarter of the ends out and drag down. There we go. And I like to twist it back to keep that twist in there as it dries. Okay, you guys, it is all done. I think this side's a little bit more curly than this side, but I'm not gonna lie to you, that straightener gets so hot 
and this side's not as healthy as this side so I tried working a lot faster and I think that's why it's not as curled because I'm like ah, I don't want to hold it on there for too long I'm gonna use this Nexus comb through finishing spray and just spray it throughout it's such a light hold so it's not gonna be like crunchy at all you guys know me I love a good tease so I'm gonna tease the back of my hair just the crown part of it I don't know why, ever since I lived in Texas, I just love to tease my hair. Just back comb it a little bit. Not too much, cause we ain't no pageant queen. Although sometimes I secretly wish I was growing up. And just kind of brush it out. And that is it. What do you guys think? I actually really like it, especially for beachy curls. And I'll give you guys a little tip. See this piece right here, it's super curly. What you can actually do is, is go over it one time with the straightener and it kind of, see it loosens it up a little bit. So that's what's kind of nice is if it's overly curled, you can go over it with the straightener and just kind of undo the curl, if you will. So honestly, you really can't mess this up if anything there's a little bit more give and take with using a straightener. So I'm really happy that I invested in these products and one use, I am so happy with the turnout and surprised with my ability to curl my hair with the straightener. <laughs> if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below or let me know your favorite products as well. But I will see you in my next video.